In this video, I will discuss about dead zero problem. In the previous videos, we discussed about 4 to 20 milliampere, right? The 4 represents the zero scale reading or 0% of the process variable. So it is 0 percentage and the 20 represents the full scale value and it represents the 100 percent of the process variable. So this concept is very clear. Now what I will do, I will assume 0 to 20 milliampere as the range instead of 4 to 20. Okay. I assumed 0 to 20 milliampere as a range instead of 4 to 20 in this video. The 0 represents the 0 percent of the process variable or 0 scale and 20 represents the full scale value which is 100 percent of the process variable. Now I will go to the same example. We have a tank and there is a level transmitter which measures the tank level. This transmitter range is 0 to 20 milliamperes. When the tank level is 0 percent, transmitter sends 0 milliampere to the PLC. And the PLC calculates the equivalent tank level and displays the tank level on the computer. If the tank is full, then transmitter sends 20 milliamperes to the PLC. PLC updates the tank level status on the graphics. If the tank is 50 percentage, then transmitter sends 10 milliamperes to the PLC. Again, PLC calculates the equivalent tank level and displays on the computer. Okay, in this video, you have to remember one point, main point, which is transmitter range. It is 0 to 20 milliampere. Okay, let's say the present tank level is 0 percentage. Then how much current the transmitter will send? It is 0 milliampere current signal it will send it to the PLC. PLC calculates the level and updates the computer graphics. Now I will take one table. The first one is tank level, the present tank level. Right now how much percentage is there tank level? 0%. So I will enter 0. Next one is level transmitter. Right now, what is the level transmitter output? It is 0 milliampere. So I will enter 0 milliampere. Right now, how much current the PLC is receiving? It is 0. So I will enter 0 milliampere. So what is the computer status? How much it is there? Level reading on the computer? It is 0 percentage. So I will enter 0 percentage. Okay, let's say due to some reason the cable, the wire between the transmitter and the PLC is damaged or broken, then what happens? See, the wire is broken between transmitter and PLC due to any reason. There may be a short circuit, there may be a open circuit, there may be a sensor failure. This level sensor may be a failure. Some damage has happened. Okay, in this case, what happens? Again, we will check. Now, I will update the table again. See? The tank level is 0 percentage. Right now it is 0 percentage. See, I am using yellow color for the readings. 
this case is for the broken wire or sensor failure. That level transmitter is sending 0 milliampere. So, 0 milliampere. But the wire is broken. The PLC is not receiving any input from the transmitter. Okay. So, in this case, the PLC receives how much? Default value is 0. So, it will receive 0 milliampere. And the PLC calculates the 0 milliampere into the equivalent level value and updates the computer, which is 0 percentage. If you see, if you compare these two cases, the first one and the second one, you will not find any fault. Okay. This is the problem. The PLC don't know whether the reading is true reading or false reading. In the second case, it is dead zero. The line is dead. The wire is dead. The sensor is dead. Still, the PLC is displaying zero percent. This is the problem with the zero. If the zero scale value or lower range value, if it is zero, then it will be difficult for PLC to identify the fault. Now, you can, some people can say, right now both are same values, even though the second one is faulty reading, but it is matching with the first one. The values are matching, but we don't know whether the zero is a true reading, true measurement, or due to some faulty line, or due to some sensor damage. Now I will take one more case, you observe. So this is the dead zero problem, which is highlighted here. Now I will take one more example, see. I will increase the tank level. Now the tank level is 50 percentage. I will enter 50 percentage. Okay. The level transmitter sending 10 milliampere. That is why the level transmitter output is 10 milliampere. But the wire is still broken. So how much the PLC will receive? Zero. PLC receives 0 milliampere. That means it will not receive anything. The default state is 0. The starting state is 0. That is why it will receive 0. You see the PLC analog input right now is 0 milliampere. But the level transmitter is sending 10 milliampere. And again, the PLC calculates the level signal based on the 0 milliampere. And it will update the computer reading which is zero percentage. So this is also a faulty reading, right? The present level is 50 percentage, but the PLC is receiving zero milliampere. That is why it is showing zero level. This is very serious concern. If you do not address this, it may lead to the accidents, damage to the equipment, and human beings, right? Also, one more important point you have to remember when understanding this dead zero problem. You have to consider the PLCs from the 1970s, 1980s in that era, okay? With the modern technology, we have a lot of diagnostic software, uh, diagnostic hardware available. We can easily detect the faulty readings, faulty circuits, faulty lines, short circuit, open circuit, sensor failure. Okay. But these 4 to 20 milliampers are introduced during 1960s, 1970s at that time. So, 
at that time the plcs don't have any inbuilt diagnostics or inbuilt advanced safety features so if you are already working in industry do not compare present technology present plc features to solve this problem you have to solve this problem without using any modern technology i mean modern safety features okay so this is the dead zero problem which was faced during the 1970s 1980s at that time so i will discuss the solution in the next video thank you